At Pulse today, we were introducing the canine function to the cadets. We use a lot of canines in Utah in different uh, capacities from searching for drugs, searching for lost people, also searching for criminals. One of the scenarios that we presented to the cadets today was a felony building search. That's a very dangerous function that police officers are often called upon to do. And when we have a dog to assist, it's not only more efficient because of their sniffing ability, but it's also safer because the first contact with that suspect will be by a dog and not by an officer. Another discipline that we presented today to the cadets was our narcotic sniff. It happens quite often that uh, a vehicle or a circumstance arises in which we suspect illicit drugs are being uh, used in a criminal enterprise and these dogs with their tremendous sniffing ability are able to ferret them out. Now the training was intended to explain to the officers when they should call for a dog, what a dog can do, and also what a dog can't do. Another scenario that we presented to the cadets was an unfortunate experience that we encounter sometimes in which we have made a felony traffic stop and someone in that vehicle refuses to come out. Often when we, when we catch crooks, uh, in their cars as they're fleeing or in, in whatever circumstance it may be, they'll just surrender. And that's what we wish everyone would do. Sometimes they refuse to surrender. And rather than an officer making that first contact to the non-compliant suspect in the vehicle, we will send a dog up. Another scenario that we presented to the cadets involves what we call a yard to yard search. Perhaps a, a criminal has been chased and they bail out of their vehicles in a neighborhood. And we call this a yard to yard search because they will uh, literally jump fence and jump the next one and jump the next one and we often have to chase them. Another police dog function that we uh, showed the cadets today involved a search and rescue effort. The scenario involved a simulated abduction of a child and the dog was used to search the domicile or the, the, the residence or the building or whatever the location may be where it is suspected that a child may be hidden or in some way incapacitated and the dog is used to sniff them out. The primary objective of conducting this four-hour class with the cadets is that they finish the class with a taste of what it's like to assist in a canine police dog function um, in their respective agencies. This gives them the opportunity to understand the basics of what's, what is involved and to diminish maybe some of their concerns about bring, being in close proximity of a police dog.